the new IPCI on hydrogen will be the first to see at least 16 uh, EU member states with many different companies participating in one single IPCI. They are committed and so are we all for the target of 2013 for a minus of 55% uh, when it comes to emissions. And hydrogen is a key part of this. I firmly believe that this technology is an integrated part of the solution to get to where we want to. Because when we develop technologies for low carbon, and in particular, green hydrogen, and we build the necessary infrastructure for its deployment, well, that will take us a big step closer to make Europe the first climate neutral continent uh, by 2050. And that is at the heart of the Commission strategy uh, that was uh, adopted in July on hydrogen. Hydrogen will be necessary to decarbonize uh, steel production, replace fossil um, uh, hydrogen in the chemical industry, reduce fossil fuel um, in, uh, in hard to abatch mobility areas like of course buses, uh, heavy duty vehicles, trains, ships, aircraft, and so on. And at the same time, hydrogen provides a strategic opportunity for growth, employment, and definitely innovation in Europe. With the European Green Deal, the EU recovery package and the IPCI, we have the main elements to turn the recovery into a defining moment in our fight against climate change. Indeed, what better way to start a new chapter of European growth and integration than moving from an economy that was fueled by coal and steel to one that aspires to decouple economic growth from fossil fuel consumption altogether. The hydrogen sector is poised to play an important role in this transition. Indeed, green hydrogen has the potential to become the second pillar of the clean energy transition alongside electricity from renewable sources. In order to live up to its potential, however, the underlying technologies still need to be further developed, scaled up and made more competitive through further investment. IPCIs will for sure become flagship projects in the context of the European Clean Hydrogen Alliance that is presenting a pipeline of projects until next spring. In order to make the matchmaking events on these projects in February and March next year a success, we would like to submit our readiness to support this process as the industry of hydrogen technologies.